$10,000 every day you survive in the wilderness. Mr. Beast. <laughs> Let's get it. I just dropped these two strangers off in the middle of the wilderness. These two guys have never met each other in their entire lives. Every day the two of you survive in this wilderness, I'll give you $10,000. Hope you brought enough money, man. We're here for the long run. Hey, put that camera down. Let's head out. Right. Take care, boys. This video can make you guys millionaires. He's going to be poor by the time we're out of here. <laughs> he said that you're going to be poor by the time we leave here. This man, Mr. Beast, just shits money. All these trees around him right now is his money. The helicopter is made of money. Mr. Beast is money. So I don't think, like, whatever. I'm Hayes. Hayes, I'm Grizz. Nice to meet you, man. Grizz. Hayes right. and Grizz. You'll be my best friend for I the know. next however long. Starting now, best. these guys receive $10,000 right. every day, with the only limit being how long they can survive, which theoretically means they could win unlimited money. Dude, if we stay a year, we're both multimillionaires. We are trying to find a camping spot, build a fire, survive the night. I guess we should just set up camp here. For the rest of the night, they gathered wood and went through their supplies. We've got approximately five days' worth of food, two things of water. Looks like a change of clothes, some warm jackets, and Boom, fire starter. Let's see if we can get a fire going. Oh, yeah. We are good. Let's make beds out of pine needles. Won't be comfortable, but at least we won't freeze it at tonight. <sighs> We're alive. Day two. And in the morning, I showed up to give them their first $10,000. Boys, how was the first night? It's cold. It's been 24 hours, and I didn't walk over with 10 grand. You're not going to ask? Yeah, I guess we should, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just look up. Oh, my. Here we go. Every 24 hours, we're going to drop $10,000 out of a plane for you guys. There's $10,000. He didn't even, like, he, this man just created with the shit. Like, he didn't even come in with, a, like, a case full of money. He just, let me pull in the helicopter and say, hey, yo, let's drop it down on you. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. That's absolutely insane. I fucks with it. I fucks with it. Dollars. In a parachuted briefcase. Catch it, don't catch it. Don't watch out. Bro, this is crazy. Bro, we're going to be so rich by the end of this video. And on top of that money, this is your flare gun. Oh. Careful. Shoot it up in the air. The challenge ends for the both of you. And you walk away with the money you've won. So how long should we stay out here? 3.6 million for the year is crazy. All right, the plan is officially a year. We're going to split this in two. You get this. Yes. I get this. Now we can't screw each other over. But later in this video, that Type plan shit. doesn't exactly work. All right, I feel bad, but I need to steal that flare gun. I just got to shoot this thing, and I get to be a dad again. If you fire that flare, I literally think I'm going to kill you. Well, buddy, you ready to get rich? Absolutely. By day three, you could say the boys were pretty tired of sleeping on the ground. <laughs> So after another 10 grand, they started work on building their shelter. Gonna use my jacket to gather pine needles and layer them on the shelter. All right, I found this metal piece from a kid's swing set, and I think it's gonna work great for the roof of our shelter. Layer one on. Boom! Here's a section that we're working on. You can see it's got some structural poles. We get to use the parachutes and the cord, so we're gonna make a rain cover on our shelter. Everyone thinks probably that I'll be the reason we leave and fail this challenge. But this money would mean college for the kids. And then on day four, they started looking for a water source. Oh. There's a swamp. I would feel safe boiling that. Yeah, we gotta be careful because that stuff is full of bacteria and parasites. Mm -hmm. Ooh, just a touch of the swamp. <laughs> All right, we're going to bed. Hopefully, Chris snuggles up because it's cold and he's big and warm. This is like the third day in a row that we've gotten two hours of sleep. It's been so cold. If it rained right now, we'd probably have to go to the hospital. But I'd do it for $10,000. And it wasn't just the freezing temperatures that were getting to them. We were at the end of our supplies. Grizz likes to call it a fast, which sounds so much nicer than starving. And for the next few days, the hunger problem didn't get any easier. We had a, a little square of beef jerky this morning, that's it. Jimmy gave us five days worth of food, and it's day nine right now. These are green briar leaves. Grizz says they're edible, I guess. Mm. Yeah. It was clear by this point that the boys were extremely hungry. But lucky for them, I had a surprise waiting for them on day 10. They've officially survived 10 days. <laughs> Here's your briefcase. Yeah. And don't leave. This is where the challenge gets interesting. Bring in the helicopter. <laughs> oh, man. Man, what's I'm next? I'm nervous, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, that I'm excited about. Uh-huh. This man gracefully gave them a care package. But let's see what's in it, because... It could be food, it could be more supplies, 
who knows? We're just gonna see. To celebrate day 10, we have your first offer. I can tell you guys are tired of eating leaves. So I brought you guys an additional 10 days worth of food, spices, two tarps, and everything you would need to fit. All of this for $50,000 of your prize money. You want some beef jerky? So he's literally having them to buy, give him, give them, give him their money back for these supplies let's see what they decide man yes. don't eat it yet oh. these beans look good oh absolutely oh coffee. coffee we're gonna give you space i'll be back in 10 minutes this, he's not kidding like this is literally all the things we would need to fish 50 grand 50 grand if they don't take this deal i mean they're kind of stupid 10 days worth of food means they make 100 grand and they only have to pay 50 grand for it i'm doing them a favor should we talk to them now yeah all right all right I'll Jerry, take you. I'll if you take make you. a decision in the next 60 seconds, I'll throw in two feastable bars. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, right, you said 59 more seconds, but okay. Here, I'll put that in the pile of food. Thank you for the 50 grand. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the food. It's oh, by smart. The way, you also get the crate with it. Thank you. Because, yo, check this out. They survive another 10 days. It's $100,000. They at 140. They got enough supplies to fish, do whatever they need to do to survive those 10 days. And then... Possibly, they'll have enough food and everything like that. If if they're out in the right wilderness, they have enough food and everything like that to survive another ten another ten days. You get them another hundred thousand dollars. I won't pause it no more, just cause you know what I'm saying it's a thirty minute video, well almost thirty minutes, um, and that's a lot of editing. I really don't care about the editing, but it's it's just like I just want to see what happens from here. So. And I know y'all do too. Um, yeah, let's get it. No more pauses, promise. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. It was definitely a deal we had to say yes to, but that week of food literally cost as much as my kid's college tuition. Hello! Hey! Hey! Bro, I still can't believe it every time this money falls out of the sky. The food from the crate will feed them for 10 days, but if they want to survive out here for a year, all right, the plan is officially a year. They'll still need to find more food in the wilderness. So some of you may be wondering, why have they not caught fish? Well, the swamp nearby has no fish in it. What we really need wow. is moving water that we can fish in. And while Hayes was rambling on about his kids, and my two-year-old doesn't sleep very well either, so. This happened. I think being a dad. <gasps> what is this? <gasps> This is a creek. This is not a swamp. This is actually moving water. There's fish in here. Dude, look at this. It's like a dock. This is the perfect place for food and shelter. And after another few days full of a surprise freezing rainstorm, at least now we have $100,000. They decided to move and upgrade their shelter near their newfound water source. Good morning, Grizz. How are you always up earlier? <laughs> We're gathering up a bunch of dead trees we can use for our structure. And then we balance them together into an A-frame shape and cut the trees to the right length. Oh. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I'm glad I broke your fall. <laughs> sorry. All right, so maybe they had a bit of a false start. But once they got the structure back up, they spent the entire next day putting their finishing touches on their shelter. They even built a fishing dock to help them catch more fish. Hey, yo. Dock's done? Pleasantly surprised. And now all we got to do is catch a fish. Hey, yo. Come on. Yeah. Right? And as good as this was, without sleeping bags, the winter night was still unforgiving. What a really cold night. Cold toes, cold feet. No sleeping bag. So I think I knew what my next offer was. It's day 20 and they moved super deep in the woods, so now we have to get there by boat. Do you hear that sound in the distance? What'd you say? Is that a boat? Any minute now when we find them, I've got a fun offer for them. How's it going, boys? Hey, hey guys. Hey. What's going on? Two 50, things. Thousand First, for super bags. needed maintenance, so I'm delivering this by hey, hand. Hey, all These right. are $10,000, which puts you guys at $140,000. And second, we have an offer for you. Ooh. Reveal your offer. Just go ahead and take it off. Here it is. Ooh. Oh. You can either give me $10,000 for that red sleeping bag or give me $50,000 and you get both sleeping bags. What? Five times the amount for both. Oh, man. Can I take it out? Yeah, we should look at it. Yeah, check them out. Hang on, I just got to do this. 
<laughs> These are the same sleeping bags we used in Antarctica. They work very well. Here's the weather forecast. It's gonna get pretty cold next week, so. Yeah. Highly recommend you at least buy one. When we started this thing out, we were in the 20s without anything. Uh -huh. We've adapted to it. We have bedding, we have pine straw. We're doing pretty well in these low temperatures. I would love to have a sleeping bag, but $50,000 is. I sleep closer to Grizz than I do my wife, so. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You're actually gonna say no to both? Really cool Take night. one at least, bro. What? Bag. Yeah, so I think uh, I think it's final. We don't want it. Yeah, agreed. Wow. Not even a single sleeping bag. All right, boys, close it up. Sure, the boys could survive without sleeping bags, but that didn't solve their food problem. In between sitting out rainy days, the boys got into a bit of a routine where they would boil water, work on their shelter, and try to catch fish, which wasn't really working out for them. We got some guts for bait. We're going to cast them out and uh, hopefully the fish come up off the bottom of the creek. Day after day Crazy. of failing to catch any fish. Let's go check the lines, see if any catfish are on. They finally caught a wind in their sails. Oh, 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 Grizz. Or whatever that abomination of mother nature was. What is that? Is that, that an eel? What? Can I eat it? First fish, it's an eel. And I think I'm gonna charcoal grill it. We're gonna have ourselves some American style unagi. This is the first thing that we've caught out here in 27 days, which is insane. We're happy to have it and we're gonna make it delicious. I don't know if this is what I would call delicious, but the fact that they haven't had a fresh meal in almost 30 days means even a rock would taste good to them at this point. It's excellent. It's so good. <laughs> it's really, this is just like amazingly good. If we keep catching fish like this, we can easily stay for a year, bro. Dude, yeah, $3.6 million. Good night. And on day 28, they started constructing their raised bed system in their new shelter. So it's gonna be two tripods, one, two, side rails going down, slats across, and then a nice, pine needle mattress made out of parachutes. And after seeing their new shelter become more and more comfortable, I was starting to get worried that I was gonna have to pay these guys millions of dollars. The only regret that I have, they're not bunk beds. Uh, that's honestly an L. They were betting everything on their new shelter being right next to this creek. But that may have been a huge mistake because they couldn't catch another eel to save their lives. <sighs> Snapped it. At this point, I've spent more time in the wilderness than I have with my newborn son. I also have a two-year-old with my wife alone. How do you explain to a two-year-old that daddy's gonna be gone and he won't talk to you and he won't call you and he won't see you? Say they were ranking us an offer. What would be something that you would actually buy? We spend a lot of time out here trying to get firewood. You know, having firewood dropped off would be really nice. I'd probably pay $10,000 for that. We are literally in the middle of the forest. I couldn't tell you where we are anymore. All right. How's it going, boys? Doing great, man. How are you? As a reward for surviving an entire month, I brought you a store. Ooh. OK. You see, we come through all of your vlog footage, and we wrote down everything you've asked for, such as firewood, a shovel, cooking supplies, bedding, and even books and board games. It's like a dollar store, but everything costs 10 grand. Ten. Oh, man. This is your store? Feel free to shop. We've won 240 grand. Might as well check it out. What are these? Those are mosquito nets. Oh, oh we'll nice. use parachutes. We don't need those. All right, what about the hammocks? I like the hammocks, but you know, we haven't tried making them out of parachutes yet. All right, guys, answer this. <laughs> what did you not make out of parachutes? A lot. All right, well, do you guys want the firewood? How much so, wood? That's the wood you get. If it came with unlimited wood, I would buy it. I offered them literally everything they could possibly need here, and they still weren't interested. I was beginning to think these two were secretly Navy SEALs or something. Are you guys gonna buy <laughs> literally anything? You make 10 grand a day. What's another 10 grand? I gotta say no. All right. In a million years, would not have thought they would say no to everything. Next time, I'm gonna convince you two to spend money. We're looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, man. See you, Jimmy. There he goes. In his tank. Stop right here. I have a special surprise for all of you. Nolan, what does this look like? A lot of phones. A thousand phones to be exact. Because over the next seven days, I'm going to be giving a thousand random people that subscribe a free Samsung Galaxy S24. I literally spent over a million dollars on these phones and I'm giving them away to you. All you have to do to enter to win one of these phones is subscribe. It's literally free. I just want you to know I appreciate everything you guys have been doing for the channel. It means the world to me. Subscribe, win one of these phones. Let's go. And so they continue without any of the tools Team iPhone offer. over here. But go figure, Team for iPhone. the next few days, they weren't able to catch any fish. And even though the money kept coming, they were running out of food and time to catch it quickly. I am on the last belt loop. I think that we have maybe two days worth of food left. That's not good. Without a boat, this creek is not productive. We gotta go to that river. If I can get to that river and the fishing is good, 
that'll turn all this around. And with their rations running dangerously low, their only hope at getting food was to travel through the swamp to the river on the other side in hopes of catching some fish. It's risky wasting all these calories, but I have to do it if we're gonna make it any further. But after a grueling hike, Hayes finally found what he was looking for. Oh my God, woo, look at that, it's the river. Is that not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? No. Nope. It looks good up here. Is probably the difference between us making our goal and us tapping out early. Fortunately, he had a secret weapon. Grizz and I made our own fishing pole, and this is going to make catching fish easy. With Hayes' makeshift <laughs> fishing pole immediately breaking, he was going to have to use his hands, and he spent hours trying and failing. Oh no! And if he couldn't catch any fish without immediately dropping them, the calories burned coming here would have been for nothing. But just when he was ready to give up, this one's gonna be it. Ah, uh, yeah! Holy moly! Yes, I told you it was that one! Woo and the luck didn't stop there. I cannot wait to bring this back to Grizz. Wow. He's gonna be so stoked. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, hey yo. Hey. Awesome. Feels like this is our first real food in ages. But in the meantime, I was preparing hey, an yo. offer that I know they couldn't refuse. It's day 40, they've made over a third of a million dollars, and I have an incredibly special offer for them. For $10,000, and I think you're really gonna like this, you both can see your wives. In fact, they're watching right now. Oh my God, oh my God are you serious? Oh man. I can't let down my kid. I know, I can't let down my wife. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm about to say they better give up 10 grand. Oh so they got God. food on the table. Oh, as nice as it was to see their families, the visit was also bittersweet. Because there's one big question on everyone's mind. How long do you want us to stay? Really? I want you home now. <laughs> like, I do. But you want me. Oh. But do you need me home? Yes, she needs you. Yes, you need to bond with your son. I don't Time care shit. what the guy says. You've made enough money. I need you home. Oh, God. That conversation was so difficult for me. Even so, yesterday was a really good day. It had all of the things that I love. It had my family, my wife, my kids, my buddy Grizz. That was like a really huge gift. Oh, they're gone now. Um, to hold her and know that she was safe. That's like being really on changed deployment. The way that I'm viewing this entire challenge. Knowing I have my wife's support, see them I want to stay until time. I have a million dollars. Yeah. And after some much needed family time, Hayes and Grizz were much happier than I'd ever seen them. Hayes and Grizz. 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 Hayes and Grizz. Grizz. I am Bush. Whoa, they, they <laughs> kissing. Smoke what? some fish. Look at that. Hey, yo. This is perfect. Even when something happened that would have totally drained them before. <laughs> 400,000. By now, they didn't even seem to mind. It looks like someone had a gender reveal, and the gender was just money. Even though their spirits okay, were high, they, they there was still a problem they needed to solve. In order to get to the river to fish, they would first need to trudge through this giant swamp. But if they had a boat, they would easily be able to float down the creek to the river. I am building a boat. The idea is to create a frame with sticks and then attach our tarp so the whole thing can float. Not feeling super confident in the boat build. If we can get down the fish without having to tromp through a whole swamp, it's worth the risk. Time for the first sea trial of my beautiful ship. Here he goes. Chris! Da, 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 da. And this is pretty ironic, considering the offer I was about to bring them. It's day 50. Let's see how they're doing. Hey. Uh, bro, you guys have a village now. Wait, are you serious? You built a boat? Yeah, man. You're telling me this thing can actually float. You want to try it? Uh, yeah, I don't. I... Oh, my gosh. It actually works. He built a freaking boat in the woods. All right, now that I'm aware of that, this changes a lot of things. It's actually insane that you two built a boat yesterday because I brought the two of you a boat with the Zaxby's restaurant on. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cool, Jimmy. Before I present the offer, I wanna make sure you're in a really good state of mind. This is our brand new Mr. Beast box, which are now live at every single Zaxby's across America. Oh. Oh my God, that is so good. The Mr. Beast box comes with the best tasting chicken known to man. And the cool part is every single meal comes, comes with, with a that, feast of some chocolate. Our goal with this collab was to take the world's best chicken and pair it with the world's best chocolate. Indeed. Zaxby's also has 12 sauces. There's like so many flavors happening in my mouth. What is that? That's really good. It's a Zax sauce. Look how happy they are. If you want to be happy like them, just go to Zaxby's and get the Mr. Beast box right now. Now that you guys no. have gotten your meals, 
Your day 50 offer is for 50 grand. You can have this boat. We don't have a motor. We don't have any way to get this thing around. So you just use sticks. Oh, Lord, I don't know. Since you weirdly built the boat the day before, I'll give you a discount. We'll make it $40,000. My answer is I love the ship I made. I trust it with my life. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it up to Grant. For $40,000, I'm going to pass on the boat. Yes! I'll get in Hayes' death trap instead. If that sinks and you have to quit, I tried. We appreciate the food. That was lovely. Bye, Jimmy. I'll see you next time. So this ship saved us $40,000. Still a death trap. Hey, 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 hey. Man, when we first started this thing, it was in the dead of winter. Do you remember how cold it was? Yeah, now everything is so nice and warm. And spring was now in full bloom, and they were looking pretty comfortable. There's a lot of flowers here. I can't say that I mind it. What is today, 51? I don't know. I lost track. I hear an airplane coming in. Where? Oh, he's coming straight at us. This briefcase puts us at $440,000. Time to build the Hazen Grizzle love seat. 80% of what we're sitting on here is going straight to my business. This case. No, I don't want Katie to work 24 hour shifts anymore. This money's going to do so much for her and our family. But while the warmer weather was nice, it presented new problems like snakes. Don't want to get bit by that. And rats. Yep. Get out of here. Every ah! night. Oh my God. And it wasn't long until the lack of sleep started to make them irritable. Ah, uh, looks like Hayes is struggling to get over here. Hayes, do you need my help? What does it look like? You want to paddle up river into the wind? Hayes, why don't you go get those uh, fishing line specs? You know what? You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. He is angry. Can you check those lines while you're over there? What do you think I'm doing? I don't know, I was just asking. Thank you for telling me to do what I'm already doing once again. Very angry. Hey, Keep yo. in mind, at this point, Hayes and Grizz were very close friends. But Hayes had reached the end of his rope, and the jokes just weren't hitting the same anymore. <sighs> Grizz's idea about how this would unwind is not working, obviously, because it's a stupid idea. Hayes, I'm sorry, buddy. I did not know I was actually pissing you off. I thought that I did not know that you were actually upset. It's all right. Okay. And so, feeling frustrated, Hayes turned off his camera and paddled down river, where he set up his camp until the next day. Hayes has uh, set sail, and I think he may have run away. I'll certainly be thinking about him. I know it's supposed to be cold at night. He's not back in a couple days, so I'm gonna have to go looking for him. Let's do something to cheer him up. So we got a huge board over here that was left by Jimmy at the last beast drop, and I'm gonna repurpose it into a table with some of our cases. This is, it's actually pretty sturdy. And when Hayes returned home, he was not empty handed. Sounds like Hayes has returned from his great adventure. Nice. Oh, those are sea trout. I'm pretty wiped out. Mind if I take a minute? No, man, do your thing. Chris. Yeah, buddy. What's this? It's our table. We have a table? Yeah. Oh, man! Yeah, I figured that perked him up a little bit. This is a $100,000 table, Grizz! Welcome back, buddy. It feels good to be home. <laughs> With their survival needs met and their friendship restored, one question still remained. How long will they stay? We gotta have a serious conversation. Yeah. The end. Hmm. Honestly, hmm. I'd have been done five days ago. Maybe push like an extra week. I mean, hell, that's a $35,000 each. If I pulled that flare on day 70, how would you feel? I would feel uh, uh, really let down and lied to. I propose at day 70, we have a conversation, decide if we're going to push further. That's fair. I promised Grizz that I would stay longer for him, but I'm not happy about it. That's not your wife, Nick. Good morning, guys. So, Hayes has been... A little upset. I'm seeing it. He's keeping it to himself, you know, so I'm a little worried about him. Spoken to Grizz about it. He wants me to stay longer. He's kind of pushing me to stay longer and stay longer. At some point, I gotta stop being wilderness guy and go be dad. Another day. Yeah, and husband. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I knew that was gonna happen. I saw it. Oh, no. He is going to check out the case that has dropped from the sky. Day 70. I'm gonna see if Grizz is good being done today. See what he says. What are we gonna do with all this money? Kinda wanna talk to you about that. Kinda ready to hit the flare. What do you think about that? I wanna stay longer. I know that, that you've gotta pull away from this thing with family. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We've talked about it a thousand times. I just wanna know how you feel about it today. Yes or no? Can you go one more day? Give yourself 24 hours just to kind of feel it out. Bro, let this man it. go. But if you want to go another day, let's go another day. How's it going? 
going, boys? How are you, buddy? Good. Let's go on a little walkie walk. We can go over here. Let's say Hayes isn't a part of the equation. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many more days do you think you could survive out here? Let's call it 45 days would okay. probably be as far as I'd go. How many do you think he has left in the tank? He yeah, talks yeah. about it every day. How often do you think about shooting the flare? Every day. What stops you? At this stage, Grizz, you know, he wants to make a million dollars, and it's hard to say no to that. I have an obligation to him, too, but it's starting to go towards family. Yeah. yeah. When you do shoot that flare, that's going to be crazy. Oh, I can't wait. OK, last night. Mm -hmm. I don't want to disappoint Grizz, but hold on. It don't matter about Grizz, bro. Done. Do it for your fam. Thought it would be cool to, to come back here to our first camp, where I was shoulder to shoulder with Grizz every single night. And after that, it was like, all right, dude, we're brothers now. I expected to walk away with a lot of money, but I didn't expect to walk away with, like, a friend for life. And that's so meaningful to me. I kind of got to think about what's right for me and my family. Hayes got so desperate that he literally went into Grizz's bag and stole the flare gun, even though it was his idea to separate it into two parts. Wow. At this point, all I have to do is shoot this thing, and I get to be a dad again, you know? I know this thing is, is very challenging. What we're doing out here is not easy. One more day, y'all have three hundred forty thousand dollars. What's right for your family? I disagree. You're providing for them in a way that's no, going to change their lives. Now, it's gone the other way. Now it's, I think I need, I need to be there. I think that you've been really upset, and you've been missing your family really bad. I, I feel like, I think the money doesn't matter. The this money doesn't. Thing. The, the money doesn't matter to me anymore. And really, the only thing that's keeping me here is you. And I'm sick of it. Yeah. My family needs me too, you know. And you're very good at, you know, manipulating me. Yeah. <sighs> it was clear that in this moment, Grizz was going to have to make a decision. Convince Hayes to continue surviving in these woods for more and more money, or be there for his friend when he needed him the most. I can't imagine having gone through this experience with with anyone else i mean i really do like i genuinely think you'd be like a brother you know i'm sorry that i've just pushed you on and on and on i just don't want to let you down you're not letting me down yeah yeah brothers don't let each other down this is the way it is everything <laughs> everything's got to come to an end sometime let me see that player I owe you this, and to be honest with you, I'm sorry that it's taken so long. I think it's time for us to do this thing, buddy. I love you, buddy. Okay. Aww! Aww! my back. <laughs> I think they shot the player. No, you take that one. Let's go check in on him. Rich! Rich! <laughs> Boys! Hey, Jimmy. Oh, my God. We dropped them off. This is what they looked like. And here's them 74 days later. Crazy. They need a shower. Yes, they look crazy. <laughs> you haven't left Some these real food. In well, fish is natural, days. but. Dude, I'm so ready. One final surprise. Oh, my God! Oh, my gosh! Hi, Tommy! Oh, baby! Oh, wow! <laughs> After 74 days, they've won $670,000. And in case you forgot, we're giving away a 1,000 Samsung phones to random people that subscribe in the next week. So don't forget, press that subscribe button right now. Damn, 26 minutes went by already. <laughs>
hit the like button, smash it 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times over. Let people know, you know what I'm saying? Um, new content creator is on the way to take that throne. And I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay. More content on the way. It's your boy Tukoski, and I'm out. Peace.